wanted to learn development. Mm -hmm. Question is to me. Uh, I think who asked that question that I like he wanted to learn Salesforce development, right? So coding and all something they wanted to learn. So I just wanted to understand, like, are you aware of the admin already, or you wanted to learn on development? Uh, Why uh, they ask? I don't know who asked. Uh, this is this is Gopi. I'm uh, husband of Why they Gopi. So yeah, Gopi. he completed okay, our Gopi. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm. She just completed our BTEC. Mm -hmm. uh, she mm -hmm. has no idea about the admin or any Salesforce concepts. She know only the basic uh, coding uh -huh. coding on Java. So like uh -huh. uh, she can do all data types or uh, functions, methods, all these things. Okay. But not like uh, okay, any okay, framework okay. and all these things. I understand. Yeah. So yeah. So that's how I wanted to explain you. Like uh, like from my side. Like see, Salesforce is something that uh, we need to understand the structure, architect, uh, right, and platform. Then only anyone can become a developer. So admin is prerequisite for every developer in the Salesforce. So without okay. admin knowledge, we can't jump and go with the admin means development. This is not possible, at least in Salesforce. So we, because it's a complete uh, platform dependent, right? So you should know the platform properly, then only will be able to write the proper code. Getting my point, I think your experience, you can understand this thing. So yeah. this is the, how it works, okay? Sure, sure. So, so in this course, yeah. it's competition of Definitely. Mm -hmm. people. Yeah, so I can explain you that also. So yeah, so we, our pattern is same only. First of all, like, you know, uh, people, most of the people will come from non-IT background and someone who is having less coding knowledge and all, they will come, right? So first of all, uh, my intention is to make you comfortable in the technology or uh, you should enjoy the things. Otherwise, it will be like kind of, you know, attending class and that's it. So that's not like that. I wanted to make sure that you are involved into the technology. Then it will be easier for me to, you know, um, easier for me to tell anything and you will just go and debug it, you will go and research it, you will have like a kind of, you know, interest on it. So first of all, we'll take care of admin so that I can make you understand of the platform, how exactly it works and how exactly to use for, for the other people, how we are helping, uh, you know, business to solve their business issues, right? So that I wanted to make sure that I will uh, tell you so with the, without all the platform knowledge, okay, with the platform knowledge. And then once you are comfortable in admin admin we don't have to touch a single line of code correct so once you are comfortable you feel like yeah i know something then only we'll go to the development part then we'll go to the jump to the development part and then we'll start okay, okay. so this is my pattern but uh, anyhow i can explain you from the beginning now okay so when when we talk about the salesforce no just we have to understand what exactly it is and uh, what exactly we are going to do as a Salesforce admin, as a Salesforce developer, as a tester, as a business analyst, what exactly we can do into the Salesforce. So that's a very important we have to understand. So let me share my screen also. So whenever we talk about the Salesforce, no, Salesforce is nothing but it's a cloud-based technology. It's a cloud-based technology. So with help of Salesforce, we are just creating a CRM kind of application. So what exactly CRM is that we have to understand and what is the cloud when we are talking about the cloud no it's the best part of the cloud is we don't have to worry about installing any software in our local system we don't have to worry about the hardware we don't have to worry about the system configuration any system will work for us because we are working on the browser only. This is the browser only. This is the Chrome or any browser. We are just logging with the URL and we start working on that. So we don't have any dependency on the local system. So this is the one of the advantage for the beginners who start learning any technology because configuration is the biggest headache. I see like in that IT, IT part, like once you start working on somewhere, you have to configure it, you have to set up the things, you have to write the code there, connect their database, this and that. So this is not at all required into Salesforce. So this is one of the best uh, uh, thing that we can ignore it. And from first day only, we can start learn about the technology. From first day only, we start learning about the platform. We don't have to worry about the setup and all because this is completely automated system that Salesforce did already for us. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so it's completely 
browser based technology you can say the biv browser like you can just go to the any browser put the url and sign up and you can start working on that so there is no system dependency okay when we talk more about that so we talk about more into that like uh, we are working to create a crm kind of application so what exactly crm is what exactly it does and how we are involved into that so crm is nothing but whenever you are trying to sell any product any services right whenever you're trying to sell any services any product you need some platform you need some platform you need some space to sell the uh, your uh, product or services suppose you want to sell a, a simple one product which you have developed now so what you will do generally what we do we will go and open the store and from there we'll start selling correct but what is the problem to open the store is when you open the store and start selling people will buy if it is a good product more people will buy but how many people will buy they will buy across your area only right maximum of your city only you can cover but you can't cover most of the reason right you can't cover your state you can't cover your country right it is next to impossible with one store then you have to open multiple stores in the multiple different places and that's a very expensive that's very expensive right we can't do like that right maintenance and opening stores is very expensive right so the best way is to go online best way is to create online application create our own application and sell from there getting my point create our own application and sell our uh, like any product any services online that's the best way right so that we can approach to the maximum audience we can we can just capture the larger audience if you have a online website, you are having online application or something like online, which can, which can, you know, target to the maximum or huge audience and not, there will be no restriction of the area. Also, you can do the business inside your state, outside your state, inside your country, outside of your country, anywhere, there is no restriction over there. Right. So that is the one of the advantage that we need to create such kind of application with help of that we can sell our product. So that application, how we can create, you know, with help of Salesforce. Salesforce help us to create such kind of application via that application, we can sell our product and services. I'm just giving a product services, but it's not limited to that. Lot of different uh, business are there with help of Salesforce. We are solving that, but I'm just generally uh, for your understanding. I'm just uh, using this word. Okay, so if we say example, any example that you can tell me like uh, with help of that, you know, the concept of the CRM only, I don't want the exact answer, but uh, the way that the application which is using concept of CRM, any application that you know, or you have used, any application, which is online application that you are using every day, or that you think that can be a concept of CRM, like the Flipkart and Amazon, which uses uh, push messages and emails and SMS for big billion yeah, days. Correct, Indian correct. Days. That is absolutely correct. That is a concept of CRM only. So that's absolutely correct. What they are doing, they are not doing anything. They are putting their products online and we are just coming and say buying that and they are delivering to our places. So they are also doing the same. So CRM means only making a relationship between the end customer owner of the product and customer how we can make a relationship that is only crm how good relationship we can build that is a crm that is a crm concept if you open a store also physical store also what will happen people will come and after some more time no people will know you you will know each other you know the customer you know that by the name also so that's a good will that that you are making a good relationship right so the same way online also what you are doing you are buying something from amazon if uh, the product is defect you are raising the request and they are taking out the product so they are we are they are building a good relationship if they will deny to buy they will deny to take a uh, you know uh, like in you know, defect product then relationship will be bad next time you will not buy from amazon you will go with the flip card right so how how good relationship you are building and how you are giving the customer in the comfort zone that's a that make your business better right so how good business how good services you are giving to the customer that's what you can make a good relationship between the customers 
Get my point? So that's nothing but it's a kind of a CRM application will be always intermediate between the end user and owner of the product. Where you are also using the same application and owner of the product is also using same application for that they are using for selling that and you're using for buying that, buying the product. Right. So that kind of application, such kind of application, if you have to build, we can build it via Salesforce concept. All good. So this is nothing but this is a CRM what we are going to do. So our work is as a Salesforce admin developer, what is our work to develop that application? To develop that application for both for owner of the product also and for the end customer also. We are here to develop the application that can be used from the owner of the product also and end user also. This is one example I'm telling you. We are having a multiple different clouds actually. Okay. Let's talk more about that. So why Salesforce is why Salesforce is like it's very demanding right now into the market. What is the reason? There is other uh, cloud computing technology also there, right? So many other clouds are also there into the market. But why Salesforce is like like booming uh, like you know in the right path or you can say like it's a, a, the Salesforce has acquired almost the market. If you see the CRM world, uh, the Salesforce has acquired the market. Now it is number one CRM and they are just going and getting a tie up with the, all other bigger companies, right? So what exactly they are doing and how, why they are doing and how they are doing. So if you see a uh, Salesforce, when the Salesforce started, no, they have started with sales cloud. Sales cloud means if you want to sell the product, they will help you to create the application via that application, you can sell the product. But now, right now, they're having a multiple clouds with that, they can solve almost all the business. They're having service cloud. If you want to give service, you can take the service cloud. They're having a marketing cloud, right? They're having communities cloud. They're having commerce cloud. They're having a health cloud. They're having finance cloud. They are having vaccine cloud, number of different clouds they are having. With help of that, you can just, yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So they are having a multiple different clouds. With help of that, they are acquiring the more business. They are getting the more business because they are having a solution for almost everything. What exactly you want? You're working with a bank. You can take finance cloud, right? You can take commerce cloud. Right, which sector you are working? You are working in entertainment. They are having the different clouds for that. They are having a different branches. I mean to say, like they are having different concepts also. Like they are having uh, different branches. Like in our training, we are focusing to learn Salesforce, all the platform and Salesforce technology. But this is not limited to up to that. After that, also no, you can just go and you can learn so many different things like velocity. You can learn, you can learn CPQ, you can learn NC No, you can learn like you know, uh, like Einstein. So you, we are having a multiple different branches which you can choose later on, later on. But you should have a basic knowledge of Salesforce and then you can choose it. So with help of those things, also they are solving a different different problems, different different businesses they are solving. So that's why that's why right now it is number one CRM. Let's suppose a bigger company, let's suppose a TCS. TCS will buy a sales cloud. So for him, it is a convenient that they will buy a service cloud from the same company and they will buy marketing cloud from the same company, right? It will be convenient, right? We don't have to, uh, don't have to maintain the multiple different clients. With the one client only, you are taking all the cloud. So it's a, it will be very convenient. So people are like, like if you want to, you are going to the shop, if you think like everything I'm getting in the same shop, if one rupee is extra also, we'll take and we'll come. Why to go to the other shop and take it, right? So that's concept is happening. Then that's why CRM, like, you know, Salesforce CRM is having multiple different clouds. And this is the acquiring the, uh, you know, complete uh, market of the CRMs. This is the one reason. This is not only one reason. We are having another multiple reasons. Other reasons is that, you know, Salesforce is kind of company. Salesforce is a one company also. Salesforce is a technology also. If you know, Salesforce is a company and they have developed their own technology that we call it a Salesforce. So they're having their own language. They're having their own platform. They're having their own infrastructure. They're having their own database. They're having their own server. They don't use mostly other, uh, other, other one. So they're having their own complete setup. So there is a no dependency. If there is a no dependency, you know, the technology will grow very fast. 
or any general example you take general example you take if you are having one dependency you can't grow suppose you are working you are working as a developer you have developed the code but testing team is not testing properly so it will get delayed but you will be also culprit in that the business will ask to you why you have not completed the story then you will say the testing will uh, testing was pending but testing was pending it doesn't mean that you are not like you know culprit they will ask you also right so there is a dependency if the dependency is there you can't grow very fast if there is no dependency you have to do the work you will go very uh, very you know fast right and if dependency is there it will be slow down it, your progress will be slow down so here it is the same concept here is the same concept there is no dependency on salesforce they are having their own everything right so that is the one of the good part and apart from that what exactly they are doing is they are upgrading the self very rapidly they are upgrading the self very rapidly what they they does uh, right now every 4 months every 4 months they will upgrade their application every 4 months they will upgrade their application on which basis with the customer feedback suppose so many customers are telling that this icon is not working this setup option is not working setup option is not working or so many people will say the same thing in the next sprint they will go and they will just uh, the next uh, you know release they will go and they will just develop that thing they will rectify that thing so they will they will upgrade their system every 4 months generally they call it spring winter or summer right now it's summer going on so summer winter uh, spring they will tell this uh, like you know release name so every four months they will upgrade the system you know the things right if you have to be top you have to be very good in any technology you have to be in the practice correct you have to be involved in the technology right the same way they are doing they want to be involved in the technology and they don't want to carry the legacy system that's one of the biggest thing they don't want to carry the legacy system means old technology they want to keep, like make it off and they want to adopt the new thing that's what their strategy is they know right right now the crm a number one crm is salesforce but they know it is not possible to be number one forever but their challenge is how longer they will be number one that is their challenge it is not a challenge that they will be number one crm forever it is never be a challenge it is can't be a challenge right no one will be like for, you know number one forever some other technology will come and they will go away and it will come down that is for sure today or tomorrow any day it will happen for sure right but their challenge is how longer they can survive as a number one for that they are they are working out right so their road map is very clear how longer we can survive into the market and as a number one technology or number of crm that is their, their road map so if you see if you see here what they exactly they do they know the future technology is what they know future technologies ai bi machine learning right? data analysis these are the future technology right that is the straight forward if you know about the technical or software industry these are the future technology right so they focus on those technology rather than whatever they are having and they are just leaving it and they are adopting the new technology that's a good part you know when they started when they started salesforce they are having ui they were using a language called visual force six year back they have introduced aura lightning aura component lightning aura component two three years back they have introduced a web a web component lwc so rapidly how rapidly they are changing how rapidly they are changing because they want to go with the flow they want to go with the technology apart from that also you leave it about that technology also you see how what exactly they are doing is they know that is bi ai and machine learning these are data analysis is a very important for the future they have implemented bi already that's a einstein they have implemented with the help of einstein they are working on the machine learning they are working on the ai they have already implemented data analysis very good if you know about the salesforce their intention is very clear they want to be on number one for longer time so what they are doing uh, from last 3 4 years what they are doing is whoever is competitor is coming on the salesforce they are buying that company itself they are acquiring that company itself if you know recently they have acquired a lot of companies slack they have acquired they have acquired the tableau they have acquired the velocity right so they have acquired multiple companies different different companies whoever they see these are the competitor of salesforce they are acquiring that company 
because they wanted to be in number one for longer time. So now those are also getting add on to the sales force, right? So that, that's what they are doing right now into the market. And that's why it is progress is very high. If you know yesterday's news only, uh, like uh, sales force, has the like you know uh, that uh, uh, this uh, Facebook uh, like Meta founder also told that they are going to implement Salesforce with the Meta. So that's that's how they are growing up, right? So they have implement they are they are thinking to implement that also with the Salesforce, uh, Facebook with the Salesforce also they are going to implement even the for WhatsApp also they they are going to implement. So that they know this is the this is the because the the Facebook founder they also know which is the technology which is already acquired the market if we do business with them we will have a more uh, clients or more customers right so that's what they capture always the kind of technology which is spread it in the across the world or across the market right so that's what they are doing right so uh, and last to last uh, i think last month uh, uh, last month announcement uh, i just heard that like uh, from a regular, I think, 54 or 55 weeks. A regular, it is like number one CRM right now. And SAP has gone down completely. SAP has gone down completely from the Salesforce. So right now, it is over across the world, they have acquired the market. Not in one reason or two reasons. Across the globe, they have acquired the market. So that's a, that's the thing. Apart from that, a lot of things are there. If I discuss, it will go <laughs> very long. So a lot of things are there due to why like it is number one, and this the people are coming towards the Salesforce to you know uh, grow their self or or some other, like you know or because it's easier to the person and to the person who does not learn technology also. It's easier because because it's they have automated system. They have automated system in such a way that non technical people are also uh, also can learn easily we don't have to be very technical we don't have to be very uh, much like who is knowing the coding who, is, who should know the java who should know the python nothing required we can do from the scratch they are having their own language they are having their own database they write their own query they write their own program they write their own ui part so it's completely fresh if you don't know anything leave it just we'll start from the scratch that's what uh, the concept is in the admin anyhow we don't have to touch any line of code so once we uh, once we learn the admin no it will take it will take around uh, it will take around uh, you can say like 20 days what i am targeting 20 days because right now salesforce announced a lot of things to decommission it like a workflow process so many things i I think you are not aware of the topics, leave it, but they are decommissioning, they are removing from Salesforce. So whatever they are removing, we as a technical person, we don't want to carry the legacy system. We don't want to learn those things. I would, don't want to teach that thing, which is the latest one, which is demanding to the market, we will focus on that. And which is useful, once you join the company, which is useful, there I'm focusing more. So that's why this time, uh, like, you know, admin syllabus has been sought down, workflow and process builder, this I have removed it, and flow builder, which is the latest tool that Salesforce Salesforce has introduced, we are focusing there more. So that's, it will take 20 days to complete the course after admin. It's admin only I'm talking. It's only admin. After 20 days, what exactly I am going to do, uh, the plans I can tell you so that you can also, uh, uh, let me just open the plans. Yeah. So I hope you can see my screen. Is it visual light? Visual light? Yes, sir. Yeah. So 20 days, 20 days admin I'm planning. Admin will have high level. I can tell you syllabus. Anyhow, I can share with you later on. No problem. So admin, I'm going to tell you from the scratch what the platform is and how I will make you comfortable in the platform. First of all, you should be very much comfortable in the platform. Then we'll learn about the new things, new automation, data management, security model, like you know user management deployment some other the stuff we can learn once we are comfortable with the platform it's same as like once you are talking about the platform no you see this is the platform only this is the platform so you should be knowing what all options are this what exactly if i click here what will happen what exactly it happens what is the significance of this so each and everything first of all i'll make you comfortable this platform i'll make you comfortable first of all what exactly it is why I will click, what will happen if I search, what I can search here, what I can search here, why they have given the two options. So first of all, I want to make you comfortable on this platform. Once you are comfortable, then we'll start the some concept. 
first of all, I want to understand the architect of the cells, how exactly it is. When we save the data, where exactly it goes, how it is connected to the data database, how it is connected to the server, what exactly it happens. So once you understand the basic thing, no, the learning will be uh, very easy. Learning will be very good for you. It, you can enjoy the things, you can enjoy the things, right? So here I have target for 20 days. After admin is done, I will do a project. Project means, project means what exactly I am going to do with the project. Let's take any, 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 any product, any product. I want to sell the product into a market. I want to sell the product into the market, but I want to create application for that. What would be the requirement? How I will create? So I'll take some scenario and I'll explain you data flow from where data will come, how it will flow to other people, how it will flow to the other people, how it will go to the end customer, how they will use it. So I want to just explain the complete data set, data flow. Getting my point. So that project, I will explain you any cloud I'll take and complete cloud. I'll explain how exactly the data flow happens, right? So that, that I will be explaining after project is done, then we can do a CB preparation. And after that interview, this is very important. This is very important. Whatever we have learned till now, we have to show in the interview what exactly we have learned and how exactly it's effective in the market. After that, just after we are done, it will take 30 days, around 30 days, 20 days is the course and 10 days here and there. So 30 days you can consider. After that, I want you to go for interview. After that, I want you to go for interview. You don't have to complete the development here. So what, what all interview you can target it? Salesforce admin, business analyst, and, and QA. QA is quality analyst testing. This is the testing profile actually. So testing, you can target for this three straightforward profile. Getting my point. So these three profile you can target into the market right now. As per admin knowledge, where we don't have to touch a single line of code also. You can target this three profile. You can create your CV properly. You can mention the project properly. You can mention that technical expertise properly and you can go for business Salesforce admin, business analyst and QA testing profile. Getting my point. For this, anyhow, our syllabus will cover each and everything. You don't have to do anything extra. For this thing, something extra you need, I can share the document with you. Testing, like it, it requires some some extra knowledge uh, with a testing, actually testing terminology or testing concepts. So it is not a big deal. Uh, if you go as a one year experience or if you go as a fresher, I don't feel it is a big deal. You can just understand some terminology and all and you can go, that's not a problem. In a, anyhow, in the project, I'll try to cover the, some part of the testing also, how exactly tester works, what all tools they are using, how they are doing the testing, which testing they are doing, the, functional testing, regression testing, or unit testing, what exactly they're doing. So that also I can explain it. So it will be easier for you. And for the person who comes from the MBA background or like, you know, business background, they can choose this business analyst. Here we need less technical expertise, but communication should be very good with the business analyst. Communication will matter here, actually. So if you are thinking that I'm but I'm not good into the coding. I don't want to cover that. I'm having very good communication skill. I'm having very good business knowledge. Uh, or might be your background is from MBA or somewhere. So you can just choose this one. This is also very good and demanding, tech, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, role into the market, right? Fine. Any doubt up to here? Tell me if you're having any doubt, I can take it up. So, sir, after 20 days of learning uh, admin, uh, you are saying that we have to apply on website like Nokri. Yeah, you have to apply Nokri on the Nokri LinkedIn. I can uh, suggest you some of the site and some site you can also do it. So, I am suggesting you have to go for into after a month. 20 days is the course. You assume it. Uh, don't uh, make it fixed kind of thing. It can be like five days here and there. Okay. Uh, so assume it like 30 days, assume 30 days, one month, we have completed this thing. After that, after interview, I want you to go for the interview. You apply for the Naukri, you will get the call and you have to go for an interview. That's what I'm telling you. And why I'm telling you there is a reason behind it. I can explain you later. 
yeah any question telling something but i have a doubt sir mm -hmm. uh, when i see the uh, description for job profile and the nokri and linkedin website they uh, they say mm -hmm. that they mention that uh, it is admin and development they uh, the labs they give is or uh, mm -hmm. maximum is about the development part very mm -hmm. le there are many less jobs for sales or com admin purely uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah that's true only that's true only but it is very less it is not a zero so i am very much sure and i see the people if you apply properly if you set the nokri profile properly you will get the call so what i am telling you you have to go and attend at least one and two interview and you will get it that i am sure if you are not getting also i can refer you but you will get it that's not a big deal you will get it so here what why i am asking you to go at least you have to understand you have to see the market what exactly it is going on and what exactly they are asking question what we did in the syllabus is is matching in the market or not then you can come to me and you can ask these are the question they have asked i was blind i was i was not able to tell anything so what to tell how to tell so that will make like i will also feel okay these are the things might we have missed or something that i have to tell you extra so we can discuss while doing a development getting my point so this is very important i recommend everyone to go for interview and i am sure you will get one and two interview within the time frame for sure if you apply properly one and two interview you will get it for sure there is not big deal because the demand is good only right now i am telling you you will get was i have a previous experience people are getting so i know it will be the india market is like that they will be looking only developer they will not uh, uh, write a description as admin they will be writing a description as a developer always but there is a chance there is a chance that you can get it that's not a big deal okay getting my point okay sir so once you do and go for interview and all no what will happen a meanwhile after a month will start the dev will start the development right so development what exactly we want uh, what exactly we want like we will be covering the apex class this is our major major thing that we have to do it apex class it's a similar to core java actually if you are aware of core java it will be easier for you if you are not aware that's fine i'll take it from the scratch only how to define variable data types how to create a method how to define a class everything i'll be taking care so that's what i will be doing and here it's a major part of apex class that we have to cover any language any technology you go no back end is the very important so with help of apex class we are going to write all the back end logic all the back end logic we are going to write with the apex class only okay in the apex class lot of different things are there concepts i don't want to tell you now you will not understand might be it like a trigger like a trigger is the very important concept like a batch apex future method asynchronous process synchronous process lot of things are there right like you know uh, like schedule our class how can you schedule the class so a lot of different things are there that we have to learn before that we have to learn a database language you know is so cool is so cool so i am not i will be not telling that uh, sometime i will be covering in the admin only uh, so cool that is important for the admin also and ba also qa also that is important so sometime i will be covering here and if i don't get the time then i will cover here uh, as a, like you know part of syllabus so so cool and all i will be covering it before the development actually for the apex class because apex class is so so cool apex class we need a lot of apex uh, you know is apex class we need a lot of sql so that i will be covering sql sql there is a two different uh, you know database language we are having but sql we will be covering sql that is not that much important but i can tell you that also fine so after the apex class is done this is the complete back end after that is done no then we will cover the ui part so now now ui is up to you i have option now i have option option is i have a aura component aura component i have lwc lightning wave component i have lwc i have aura component i have lwc now you have to choose among this which one you want to learn this is the latest one and this is the previous one and actually previous one also is there that is the visual fools that i will not consider at all that i will not consider i will not teach anyone that's anyhow it is like old one uh, no one is using 
most of the company are moving to Aura and LWC, right? So I will give you choice here, which one you want to prefer, which one you want to learn, either Aura component or LWC, which you will choose. I'll just go ahead and tell you. And before choosing, obviously, I can tell you the references. I can tell you the in a scenario. I can tell you the market, everything I can tell you. So you can choose accordingly and you can tell me. So one of them I can just cover as a part of slips. Both it's not possible because it will go very long. Okay, and it's not required also both. One is more than enough, fine. So this is like when we start the development, then it is like uh, that I'm giving the like, you know, kind of options for you. If you want to choose this or choose any anything is fine. So we can cover that, okay. After that, for the interview purpose only, I will be telling integration for the interview purpose. Again, I'm telling you for the interview purpose only. Why I'm telling you for the interview purpose, if I go very deeply, you know, might we you will struggle, you will not understand because again, it is like, you know, something that, uh, you know, it's a little bit complicated. So not that much complicated, the concept wise, how you use the methods, what are the methods are there, this I'll make sure that you know the things so that you go for interview, you will be having some answer. Yeah, you know this method, I know this method, what is used for, I can tell the answer. You can say yeah, as a three years experience, two year experience, people will not focus more. You can say I'm having high level of experience, if you want to Ask, you ask, I will be able to answer it. But hands-on experience, I don't have. You can ignore sometimes because everything you can't cover as a part of syllabus and you can't go for interview. It will be very tough for you because once you go for interview, no, for my experience, I'm telling you, I also take a lot of interviews. So what my experience is, if you are telling no to anything, like I don't know the integration, this cannot be a reason for your rejection. This cannot be a reason for your rejection. As per my experience, what I take into view, how I feel. If I'm asking something, if you tell, I don't know this, this cannot be a reason for uh, like rejection. If I ask, do you know LWC? They will say, yes, I know LWC. And then I'm asking question, you are not able to answer, then that is a part of rejection. That will come the rejection point. If you know something, if you have written in the, your CV and you are not able to answer it, that time I will have a doubt. That time I will, I will just think twice. Should I hire that person or not? But if I'm telling, I don't know that thing, that's fine. We can learn it. Technology is like, it's very big. Like, you know, it is not going to end. It is not going to end. We can learn it. That's not a big deal. But that's why I'm telling you, whatever, you know, you can just tell it clearly. If you don't know, tell it. I don't know. No problem. No problem. We are here to learn. Even though you are a six years, eight years experience, 10 year experience, those are also learning only. Right. It's in IT is like, like that. It works. Right. So that's what I will be telling this as the interview side for the interview preparation side so that you can just go and tell something in the interview. So that's what I cover it. OK, this is a part of and this also will go. Actually, actually, this will go a little bit more than one month. So one and a half month, you can consider it. This one and a half month you can consider it because here only we'll make most of the time. I know people are come people comes from the non-IT background, right? So making them to understand the variable data type only, it will take more time to me. Because I wanted to make them comfortable, first of all. First of all, I want to keep them in comfort zone. Yeah, you know the things, then we'll write. The, if I go and write the trigger again, it will be going beyond. Like you will not understand. So first I'll I will make sure to make you comfortable. So I will take more time here actually. And then once you are comfortable, no, then this will happen smoothly. Okay. So that's what uh, my strategy and how, how I follow. So overall, you can say two and a half months, it will go. Probably two and a half months, it will go. Okay. This is how it's part of syllabus. Now, do you like, you know, you want to understand some technical, technical stuff in the Salesforce? Then I can tell you a little bit, not, uh, you know, I will not go deeply, but little bit I'll tell you, high level at least I can tell you. So let's suppose, let's suppose I just, ex I was explaining you about the Salesforce, like what exactly it does, it's it's like, you know, it's uh, like, you know, CRM and what exactly CRM does. So how exactly you do more business, you know, the CRM world, like who is having a more data now, they will do more business. That's straightforward policy. It's all about data. It's all about data. How much data you are having, that much business you are doing. If you're having a one lakh data, one lakh customer, and you are launching an offer, might be thousand customer will buy. The same same product you are launching to the other application, they are having a thousand customer only. So what your expectation will be? Thousand customer will not buy, right? 
100 customers will buy, 50 customers will buy. So it's all about data, how much data you are having and how much good data you are having. You should not have a bad data again. Suppose you are having one lakh of customer, all customer phone number email ID is wrong. So what will you do? If you send a notification also, they can't see, they can't respond, no one will buy. So it is also important that you should have a data, but data should be proper. It should not have a bad data. Correct. That is very important into the market, into the any CRM or any technology, if you see, right? So we are talking about more about data and, you know, Salesforce also, we are working on the data side, mostly data side. So where exactly we're storing the data in Salesforce? What do you think? Where exactly we store data into Salesforce? In the so, servers of Salesforce? Mm, okay, uh, if uh, this you are going and you are going more deeply into that, if you come a little bit above and in the UI side, if you can tell me that we can make you a better understanding, uh, we have to go from the UI to, you know, back in. So if I show you in the UI where exactly we save the data and then that is another part, it will go to the database server and all that's another part. But the high level, high level, I want to tell, I'm not going to the backend side now. So if I am telling you where exactly we are saving the data, so we are saving a data into these objects. You are seeing that on the top, right? These are nothing but object in Salesforce. These are nothing but object in the Salesforce. Getting my point. So we are saving our data into object. We are saving our record into the object. And from object where it is going, that will think later, that will talk later. It's going to the server backend like a database and all that we'll think later, but from the UI side, because we are seeing that application and we are seeing that application and in the application only have to save the data. Suppose you are a contact or suppose let's suppose case case means to what suppose you are having a problem no any problem. This is a service cloud service. What will happen? You are providing a service to anyone. Suppose you have taken a laptop HP laptop and like you have taken it today and tomorrow it is not working. So tomorrow what you will do, you will raise a concern, you will raise a case, you will raise a ticket. So that data will be stored into the case object. This is the case and this is the object. So that will get stored here. The information will get stored here. Getting my point. So whenever we are having a data now, we are storing here into the objects. So what exactly object is that we have to understand. So let me uh, make you understand about object first of all. What exactly object is? This? Uh, I don't know. It's not working. Yeah. You're able to see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So let me tell you the object. What exactly object is? So I'm creating a table. Okay. Simple table I'm creating. And let's see. So in this table, I will write a name. And here I will write a college. And here I will write a anything like a address or something, right? So here I'll just fill the detail. Like I'm filling my detail. I'm filling my city. I'm filling my place. I'm filling some other detail. I'm filling I'm filling the something like that. Yeah. So if you see here, this is a table where I've just filled the details, right? So the table is having column and row. So in Salesforce, if you see the column, we call it is a field. So this is called a field and this is called a field value. This is called a field value, it's field value. So many field value will come. This is a field and this is a field value, field value, field value, field value. So many field will come. Field value will come. This is the field and this is the field value, field value, field value. And again, other field will come like phone number, city, so many things will be there, right? And this will come, the field and field value will come. If you go towards the row basis, 
in the Salesforce, we call it is a record. So this is a record actually. Record is nothing but a complete information of one person, complete information of one product, complete information of one opportunity, anything. Or you can say other way, it is nothing but record is nothing but a combination of filled values. Correct. It's a combination of filled values. It's called a record. Record. And this one is called a filled, and this is called filled value, filled value. So many field will be there and so many field value will be there and so many record will be there. Like these are the record we are storing. One record, two, three, four, five. Suppose this is a customer. One, two, three, four. A lot of customer will be saved. Correct. So now if you, if you talk overall, if you talk overall, this is called object. So can you tell me what is the object now? Can you tell me what is object now? Overall Let's things see. is called object. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you are correct. It's a combination of uh, like, you know, it's a combination of fields and records. Absolutely correct. It's a technical way you can say like that. Technical way you can say it's a combination of fields and records. That's it, done. If you want to explain someone or you want to make them understand, then you can say it's kind of table where we are storing our data. It's kind of container where we are keeping our data. Any way you can make them understand. That's not a problem. But it's a technical way you can say it's a combination of fields and records. Done. But I showed you on the like, you know, uh, this side, but how practically we will see, let's see. Practically how it looks like that I will show you. Suppose I have I have opened this one, right? I have opened now. Uh, let's suppose I have opened now all cases. So <clears throat> this is nothing but a this is nothing but a field, and these are the field value, field, field value, field, field value, field, field value. So many is uh, field and field value is there. And if I talk, this is the complete one record, two record, three record, four record. So many records are there. If I click here, if I click here, it will open a record. Record is what? A combination of field value. One, two, three. So many values are there. See, this is the field and this is the value. This is the field, this is the value. So combination of field value is called record. Right? So this is a record. And this record and field is coming where? Under this object. So object is nothing but a combination of fields and record. Getting my point? So one object will have a lot of records. Lot of records it will have right? Multiple records we are saving. This is the case, like uh, suppose you're working as a support. So obviously we'll get a daily so many cases, right? So many cases you will get. Right. So this is how it uh, looks like, right? So this is all about concept of object, field and record. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Almost we are <laughs> Reaching to our so uh, I just you know quickly like you know I wanted to understand from your side any other question that I'm missing or like you wanted to ask or remind me something that I have missed so I can answer you anything that you wanted to ask specifically something that you want to ask so I have a question uh, so even marketing cloud we need to learn the development part right Mm, marketing cloud it's not required uh, marketing cloud it is not that much but still if you want to become a developer in marketing cloud obviously you should have the knowledge without uh, development how can you do but again i have given the option right i told you very clearly if you want to go for the admin marketing admin there is a email specialist i think in the marketing cloud as i know uh, so email specialist uh, there, there will be so I don't feel it's a more development required but anyhow high level development you should know if you know it will help you to understand the things actually uh, but that much development is uh, developer knowledge is not required as per my knowledge so that will uh, that you can uh, you know you can work like it's not required very much coding and all uh, as a marketing cloud I'm talking yeah yeah any other question Any other question anyone is having? So after sir completing uh, this uh, course of your by you, uh, for which profile we will be exactly looking for in job market? 
Mm, can you come again? What exactly you're asking? Uh, sir, after doing uh, this course by you, uh, mm. in which profile we will be looking for jobs in uh, Salesforce? Like the, as a developer? No, as a developer, obviously, like this uh, starting, I will uh, I'll complete as admin. So that admin, after that, you can go for the admin and then we'll start the development. Why I'm saying you, because you will be touch, you will not forget the admin concept, right? Because uh, again, one and a half month, it will take to complete development. By the time, some people will forget that. I don't want you to forget so that you, to, you have to go for an interview. And then meanwhile, we'll go, do the development. Once development is done, no, the same process goes on project. CV preparation, interview preparation, and then you have to go for interview. Correct. So that time you will go as a developer. That time you will go as a developer consultant, right? So that you have to do after that development is done. Okay. Mm, I am from Bangalore <laughs> and I don't know, like uh, offline classes will not be there. I think online only and uh, project wise, I can explain you one or two project. Depends if uh, time requires, uh, time is there. I can explain two project. Otherwise one project for sure. And uh, I can explain you. If you need a specific uh, project help, then obviously we can sit and we can discuss in the class only. If you want like, no, I didn't understand. Let's uh, work on other project. Let's uh, see, see the other project. So I can explain you. It's only explaining the project data flow. Anyhow, our, our, our like training will be not any theoretical. Nothing I will be giving as a theory. I will not give you as a theory. I will take a scenario. I'll solve in front of you. That's what we are going to do. So as we are done with the uh, you know syllabus only, at that the time you will have enough knowledge of the technology. So that once I'll explain the data flow, you will be able to correlate exactly. Okay, this is the place where I can implement the. Uh, like, you know, flow builder. This is the place where I can implement the OWD. So you will understand automatically. So that's, I'm going to explain the data flow, complete data flow of the project. Okay. All good. Sir, how much time will require uh, for development? One and a half month. It will take. It will go. Actually, if we, I don't want to rush also. Actually, sometimes what happens now, because I have changed a little bit syllabus and I've just moved to the latest syllabus actually. So most of the people are saying me to just go with the LWC because that's uh, most of the companies are asking. So like I'm, I'm taking care of that. So little bit, you know, it will take some time to understand, to make you understand or might will take some more time. So if I just, one day, if I just jump and tell everything, obviously will not understand. That's a waste for me also and you also and no use right so that's why i take a little bit more time in development side uh it will go one and a half month for sure and one month it will go for the admin admin i'll make it short because anyhow admin that's more than enough what i'm having the syllabus that you are not going to struggle anywhere no worries it's fine right anything yes. else uh, hey, it's not about the subject. Uh -huh. uh, what will be the timings for the exact classes? Uh, is, is it will be the like 7 p.m. Yeah, evening only I'm planning. So mostly it will be evening only. Uh, the time? Time? Time. Uh, 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 just what I'm thinking like I'm free from 7 to uh, 9 in between 7 to 9 so we can take uh, everyone's uh, like you know uh, like you know thought what exactly they want and we can choose the common timing that's what our plan is uh, once it is formed uh, like you know we can just choose the common timing mostly if uh, 7 it would be fine for me also 7 oh, to 8 okay. we are looking like uh, it's uh, 7 30 Maybe that's it will work. fine. That's that's what I'm asking you. Like, I, I we don't know, right? Some people will have office. Some people will say no evening. I have a eight up to eight meeting. So I will take the kind of common timing. We can discuss and we can take a common timing and we can make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a yeah. It's a very good idea. Yeah. <laughs> After all. Yeah, and yeah, we will have a daily class, a weekend and all. I actually like, you know, that I don't want because that's uh, output will be not good if I take uh, like weekend only. So that will not good. So daily class, I prefer um, mostly two days off will keep also. 
and daily classes we prefer one hour only we don't take more also one hour will prefer uh, daily classes okay ah uh, yeah thank you and when will be the exact classes uh, will started uh, uh, will we mostly uh, this is anyhow this today is thursday mostly monday and i'm not sure you can ask uh, might be kishore or krishna so he can help you to exact date but i am not sure about the date uh, right now but uh, mostly a uh, monday only i'm i'm hoping i'm not sure but you can uh, contact once again as we take so they can help you to understand that timing and date oh okay okay thank you yeah. so uh, we will be helping in that okay sure yeah okay thank you okay then i think all good so we can wrap up right okay then yeah thank you so much yeah bye bye thank you sir